Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that a 150 pound bucket is suspended from a cable on the wooden frame. Determine the resultant internal loadings on the cross section at D. So to find the internal loadings at D, um, we are going to consider this BC part of the whole mechanism, right? Of this wooden frame so for that uh, let me draw the free body diagram for this BD and as you guys can see that um, this BC member uh, will apply the force on this GH member in this direction and as a reaction this G GH will support this load right so it will apply the force in the opposite direction so we will have the force FGH in this direction at point H so let's say that this will be our force and this will be F in G H and at B we will have the support reaction. So at B we will have B X and we will have B Y. So let's say B Y is acting like this. <clears throat> so this is my free body diagram now. At C, we will have the weight of the bucket. So the weight of the bucket is going to act vertically downward, which is 150 pound. And this is F, G, H. And this is point B. This is point D. And this is point H. And this is point C. So now if we apply the sum of the moment about point B, that must be equals to zero. And you guys can see that here this point H is at a distance of 2 feet from point B and this is 2 feet. So this means that if this is 2 feet and this is 2 feet then this angle is 45 and this angle is 45 as well. So this means that FGH is making 45 degree angle with the horizontal. So we can resolve this FGH into its components. So we will have one component of FGH in this direction and we will have one component in this direction. So this component is the cost component and this one is the sine component. So we want to find uh, FGH if we apply the sum of the moment about point B that must be equals to zero counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. Now <clears throat> as you guys can see that this component is passing through point B its moment arm is zero so it's not going to produce the moment. So only this component which is F G H sine of 45 degree this is producing the moment about that point B so it is producing the clockwise moment about point B so we will write minus F G H sine of 45 and the moment arm of this component from that point B is 2 feet here you guys can see that this distance is 2 feet so we will multiply this with 2 you guys can see that here this is 1 feet and this is 1 feet and this is 2 feet and similarly this 150 pound force is producing the clockwise moment this is producing the counterclockwise moment right this is positive so let's say this is positive and this is producing the clockwise moment so we will write minus 150 multiply by the moment arm the perpendicular distance for from point b so this is 2 plus 2 so this is 4 feet so multiply by 4 this is equal to 0 so from this we can say that f g h is equal to plus 150 divided by 4 sine of 45 multiply by 2 so we can say that this is 150 into 4 divided by sine of 45 multiply by 2. So this gives us 424.26. So F G H is equal to 424.26 pounds. So now once we find this F G H um, to find the internal loadings at D we can consider this D C segment. So if I consider this D C segment <coughs> let's say this is our I have to pass a cutting section through point D. So this will be my free body diagram like this. <clears throat> this is my point D. Somewhere here is my point D. 
and here we will have that FGH force. So this is FGH force. This is acting like this. And now at D, we want to find the internal loading. So let the, let's say that we have um, D and normal force. We will have the shear force. This is um, this this will be normal force on D. Yeah, shear force and we will have the bending moment. So the bending moment is let's say clockwise. So this is MD. So now considering segment DC, we want to find the internal loading. So if we apply the sum of the forces in the X, here we have the weight of the bucket, which is um, 150 pounds. So the sum of the moment about, um, if you apply the sum of the forces in the x, so that must be equals to 0. Towards the right is our positive x. Now nd is acting in the negative x. And nd is, the, uh, and similarly we will have two components of fgh as well. So one component of fgh is going to act here and one component is going to act here. So th the angle is 45. So this one is the cos component, this one is the sine component. So we have nd and D in the negative X and we have this component in the positive X. So we will write that this is plus FGH. So FGH is 426.26 cos of 45. This is equal to 0. And from this we can say that minus ND is equal to minus 426.26 cos of 45. So the minus sign will cancel out and ND is equal to four hundred and twenty four point two six so this gives me the cause of forty five so this gives me two hundred ninety nine point nine nine which is three hundred so three hundred pounds similarly if we apply the sum of the forces in the y that must be equals to zero upward direction is considered to be positive now we have vd the internal shear force so plus VD and plus this sine component of FGH. So we will write that plus FGH is 424.26 sine of 45 minus the weight of the bucket. So the weight of the bucket is 150 pounds. So this is equal to zero. Now VD is equal to minus 424.26 sine of 45 plus 150 so this gives us minus 424.26 sine of 45 plus 150 this gives us uh, vd equals to approximately 150 so minus 150 pounds now the negative sign tells us that the internal shear force through the cross section at d uh, is in the downward direction so vd is 150 pounds And now to find the internal bending moment uh, at the cross section through D, we must apply the sum of the moment about point D equals to 0. Counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. Now we have MD. So MD is free couple. It is in the clockwise direction. So we will write minus MD. And this component of FGH is passing through point D. It's not going to produce the moment. So this component is producing the counterclockwise moment. So you will write plus. So 424.26 sine of 45 multiply by the moment arm. So this is the moment arm one feet from point D. So multiply it with one. And this weight of the bucket is producing the clockwise moment. So we will write minus 150. And the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point D is three feet. Three feet is the moment arm. So this is equal to zero. And if I bring this MD to the other side of the equation, we will be left with this. So we can say that MD is equal to 424.26 sine of 45 multiplied by 1 minus 150 into 3. So this gives us minus 150. So minus 150 pound feet. 
Now the negative sign tells us that the internal bending moment uh, at the cross section through point D is in the opposite direction, that is in the counterclockwise direction and the magnitude is 150 pound feet. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hebler.